Hey everyone, it's Gold Gear. After a few years, I finally played the first game in the Sly Cooper series again, and decided it would be fun to rank all the episodes from worst to best. Remember that everything I say is just my opinion, and yours may differ. Before we get into it, leave a like and subscribe, it will help the channel a lot. Also, don't forget to post your list in the comments, I would love to read it. Now, let's get to the ranking. At number 5 is the Cold Heart of Hate. It's the final episode of the game and it's certainly not bad by any means, but it's much shorter compared to the other episodes and we barely get to play as Sly Cooper himself. Most of the time we have to do less interesting things, like shooting a turret or blaster, driving a van and hacking stuff with a Bentley. The platforming sections with Sly are still present and are great, and the final boss with Clockwork is pretty epic, but overall this episode isn't something I will be looking forward to when I play this game again in the future. At number 4 is Vicious Voodoo. I usually like swamp levels a lot, in fact they are often among my favorites. So what went wrong with this game? Well, let's start with the fact that I don't like the color palette, and that all the levels are pretty dark and gloomy. I know that was probably intentional, but that doesn't change the fact that this swamp is not pleasant to look at. Another problem I have is that there are annoying enemies, like ghosts and these big fellas. But I have to admit that these mosquitoes are some of the most creative ones in the game. Some of the missions, like killing chickens, catching piranhas and using uh, this strange vehicle, are also not enjoyable. And I don't even want to talk about the frustrating boss with Ms. Ruby. But I don't think that this episode is bad. There are actually some great and really fun levels, where you use slice abilities to the max. But it's still one of the weakest episodes of the game. At number 3 is Fire in the Sky. This episode is mostly enjoyable, with only a couple of minor drawbacks. Racing with monkeys and protecting Murray with a turret are not my favorite missions, to say the least. But the rest of the levels are really great. The highlight of this episode is definitely the intense chase around the giant dragon statue while dodging Carmelita's bullets. The snowy mountain setting with its unique architecture is actually visually impressive. It's also fun to initiate fireworks with Sly's cane. These colorful explosions are quite satisfying. Panda King as a villain isn't one of the most memorable in the series, but he reminds me of Kung Fu Panda, so that adds a few extra points to this episode. At number 2 is Tide of Terror. This is the first episode of the game, and surprisingly it contains some of the most unique and iconic levels. I like the overall atmosphere of the place, as Sir Raleigh's lair is surrounded by a sea full of sunken ships and a storm caused by his blimp. The levels are quite varied, in one you will have to make your way through the remains of old boats and planes, and in another you will have to go through a library with a barrel to avoid being shot at by turrets. There is only one minigame in this episode where we have to use a submarine to destroy all the treasure chests, but it's surprisingly fun and not annoying. I have to say that this episode is a really strong start to the game. At number 1 is Sunset Snake Eyes. Sly Cooper and his crew head to Chaotic Mesa City, which has been taken over by the infamous Mugshot, who has unleashed his canine cohorts and thrown the city into a state of lawless anarchy. As a player, you definitely won't get bored, as there are plenty of activities to do, from exploring the city's dirty streets, to climbing the big ladders on the roof, to gambling in the huge casino. Unfortunately, there are a few annoying levels, such as the dog race and turret mission. But otherwise, I have no particular complaints. The enemies are also some of the most memorable in the game. I love the dog that throws cards at you, or the bodyguards in tuxedos that look very silly and menacing at the same time. 
a well-deserved first place, I believe. So here was my ranking of all the episodes from the first Sly Cooper game. My opinion may change in the future, but for now, this is my list. I would love to know what your favorite episode from this game is. Be sure to write about it in the comments. Also, leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss future videos. I am Gold Gear, thank you for watching and stay gold!